Hello everybody, what is going on? I'm Joey. So today you joined me here in Monterey for Car Week and we are at the Goodings and Company auction. And looking at this, the auction house is absolutely crazy with cars from everything from Nicky Lauda's Ferrari 312, vintage motorcycles to pre-war cars to, you know, modern day hyper cars like the Bugatti Chiron over there. So we're going to go check out the coolest cars here. Now the elephant in the room has to be Nicky Lauda's Ferrari 312. So I believe it's being sold by Griot's Garage and they're expecting it to sell between six and eight million dollars, but I have a feeling it'll probably go for more. But this car is absolutely gorgeous. It's the 1975 championship winning car. And I believe it had a V12 and if you've seen the movie Rush, obviously, you know, these era cars are very famous. But it's just a gorgeous car to see. Just the raw metal and Italian flag, the red and the white, it just, it all really comes together. And the coolest part about these vintage Formula One cars is when you come to the rear end, because they had no diffusers, so all your rear end was exposed, so your differential, suspension, exhaust, everything was exposed, which is really cool. I mean, take a look at the shape of the rear wing, amazing to look at, and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's just so sleek and I would say it's simple, but I mean, compared to modern cars, it is. And it, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, it's it's amazing. I I mean, I'll probably say that a bunch, but it it really is. It's, it's something you have to see on your own. Bugatti Chiron. It's a raw carbon fiber with the blue accents. Really a good look and I actually like it quite a lot. Now it doesn't really show that well on camera but the color of this Ferrari Dino in person is just gorgeous. Now I don't know if the Jaguar E-Type is like the official car of Monterey Car Week but there's a bunch of E-Types for sale but I have to say the all black with the chrome is actually really sleek looking. So, you know usually you see these E-Types in all sorts of wild colors like that green for example but there's something about a black E-Type I really like. Gorgeous Aston Martin DB5, love the color. Another Ferrari 275 GTB, but always love these cars. And then this is an interesting one, but it's the F12 Steve McQueen edition. It's a cool spec because they went to brown with the tan interior, but it's a tribute spec back to the original days. So uh, this will be interesting to see how much it goes for, but it's a really cool car because this brown you can't get in any other F12 or any other modern day Ferrari. Now talk about good specs, this McLaren Senna is definitely up there. It's kind of like an eggplant purple, but it's got the matte carbon fiber. Very nice spec on this Senna, I like it. Always a big fan of the 300 SL going, such a classic. And then another Ferrari 275 GTB. And this color scheme is really cool, it's a navy blue with a red interior. This one's a long nose as well, but yeah, check out that interior. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. And then here we have kind of the odd small cars, so got a Citroen 2CV, a BMW Isetta, and then it's like a mini version yeah, of a Ferrari 330P2. So it is 5 horsepower, 200cc 4-stroke engine. This usually would cost you at the tops about $5,000. They're expecting this to go for between thirty dollars and $40,000. That's crazy. Now I said earlier there were many unique specs to these Jaguar E-Types. And this British Racing Green with the tan interior. Oh my gosh, is it amazing. I mean, you know me. Any green car, I'm pretty much going to like it. But especially on an E-Type, wow. Now the first generation Corvette in silver actually looks quite good. And a Ferrari 250 GT convertible. I've actually seen quite a lot of these, but the interesting part is it's black on green. So really bizarre spec, but this will probably go for quite a lot of money. Cool color on this 365. Nice DB4. So here's another Ferrari F40 for auction. I believe there's two of them for sale this year, but really cool to see an F40. One of my favorite cars of all time. Now, 
Now this is talk about rare cars, a Bugatti Type 57. But yeah, this is really cool. What I never knew was the Type 57 was actually a four-seater. I thought it was only a two-seater, but really cool to see a Type 57 because these are some of the rarest Bugattis of all time. Now check out the hood emblem on this Avion's Wasson. Crazy. Love that hood emblem. Now I think I might have found the craziest looking Renault of all time. Just raw bare metal with the black paint. I mean, look at the lines on this. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Oh, look how long it is. It's got a wood side to it. I mean, people say their cars are like boats. This one really is. Look at this. Wow. Boat tail as well. Really nice. We had an F40 in the other room, and now we have an F50 right here. Now this 993 Turbo S, very unique spec with the green on tan. This is going to sell for quite a lot. Original Lamborghini 350. Porsche GT2 RS. This generation was obviously famous, got the nickname the Widowmaker. Black on black on the spec, really nice. Split window C2 Corvette, and in black, really sleek looking, love it. Now here we have a LaFerrari, very cool to see. I believe this is the uh, triple layer yellow. Very cool color. And obviously, since it's a hybrid, they have a charging right now. But yeah, very cool car. Now, there was an F40 in the other room. And right here, we have the F40's main rival, the Porsche 959. Very amazing car. Cadillacs as well. Wow, they are long. And then one of the rarest cars I've never gotten to see, but always wanted to see it since it first got launched, the Aston Martin Vulcan. What an amazing car to look at. The carbon fiber, it shows up in camera, it's red, but the color is more of an orange. But just check out the whole patterns of the car and the lines. Crazy. Now it's hard to see the interior, but this car is a very cool steering wheel. And then the cool part to look at this car is from the back, because you have the massive rear wing, the massive diffuser, and then the cool part on the taillights is rather than doing one big unit, they've done a bunch of little individual pieces. So really cool taillights on this car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. As always, I'm Joey, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.